Hi everyone, in today's DIY projects, we are crafting with Dollar Tree items. We'll be creating some beautiful home decor items on a budget that you can use to decorate your home. For your shopping convenience, I attach all the items used in today's projects in the description box below, so do check them out and let's jump right into our first project. For this DIY project, you'll need a 10 inch mirror, wavy plates from the Dollar Tree, three packs of those. You just want to take your mirror and line your plates going right around the edge of the mirror and make sure that the corners of your plates are touching. Then take your marker and place a dot on all the points. Then use your ruler to connect the dot with each one on the opposite side. Now these are the plates and this is how they look when you stack them. I'll be using my metallic rust-oleum gold spray paint to spray paint them. Now I am showing you a picture of how they look. You can also use them as a decor piece to stand alone or you can use your soldering iron to poke a hole in the center to make it a bud vase. Next you will be using bamboo skewers and these are the ones that comes in the 12 pack, the 32 inches long. So you're going to be cutting 20 pieces of your skewers. You need 10 pieces that measures 6 inches and 10 pieces that measures 4.5 inches. I cut 5 inches but I ended up cutting a half an inch off and you'll see what I mean. Now it's time to attach the skewers to the mirror and the smaller pieces are going on the lines. If you have a compass, go ahead and use your compass to make a perfect circle on those dotted lines and that way you'll ensure that your skewers are straight going all the way around. Now we're done attaching all of our four and a half inches. It's time to attach our six inch skewers and you're just gonna place them right on the dot going all the way around. Just make sure that they're evenly spaced going right around the edge of your mirror. Now we're going to finish working on the back of our wall decor and I'm just using some picture frame hooks. Well, I'm out of picture frame hooks, so I'm using the wire that's in the package and I'm just going to attach it right at about two thirds on the way up and I'm attaching my hook directly under the shorter skewer. To make sure this is nice and sturdy on the wall, I'm using my Aline's mixed media adhesive and I'm placing it underneath my hook and also over on the top of it so you can lock it in place. To spray the back, I'll be using this flat 2X from Rust-Oleum and for the front, I'll be spraying the skewers with my Rust-Oleum reflective gold spray paint. Before I do that, I'm using a piece of paper and I'm just covering up my mirror and this is how it looks when we're done. Let's clean up the back a little bit. We're going to be using this crafter square felt and I'm using my Gorilla spray adhesive and I'm just spraying the back of the mirror and I'll place my felt on top and I'll push it in between the skewers and make sure it's nice and neat. Then I'll just cut the excess off. Just use a scissors or a sharp blade to take the hook from under the felt. Use your hot glue to make sure that the edges are nice and secure and it's neat going all the way around. Now we're done with the back. Now let's work on the front. 
Remember, we had that row of plates. We're going to place them directly as they were. Make sure that the corner of the plate is touching um, the skewer and about half of the plate is on the mirror. If you want to do a minimalistic look, I think it looks nice right here. You could stop right here if you'd like. Now let's attach the pieces. Um, try not to move them around too much. I'm just using my hot glue to place it down. And we'll reinforce this later with our strong adhesive. Now on the longer skewer, we're going to be putting two plates. Just make sure that the points are touching and make sure that it's sitting leveled. So we're on the last one. Now it's time to place our plates on the four and a half inch skewer. And you're just going to make sure that this one is touching the other two. The points are touching. Just try to pay attention on the sides and make sure that they're equal going all the way around. And if we had a larger mirror, we could definitely do more um, plates um, you, as you can see right here we have two rows and it looks like three on the curve so it would look really nice if we had a larger mirror so you could add as many plates as you'd like just add a longer skewer it's time to attach our mirrors and I'm using these two inch mirrors they're lightweight so it's perfect for this project to attach the mirrors I'll be using foam board the mirrors are a little bit too large for the base of the plate. I'm just cutting small pieces of my foam board and that will elevate the mirror so they can have that contact between the plates and the mirror. Now I'm done attaching all my mirrors and we are looking nice. So the only thing that's left to do is add our strong adhesive and make sure that this thing stays intact. So I'm just using my Aline's Mixed Media Adhesive and I'm placing it between the seams on the back. And that completes our first project, guys. Let me know if you like this one. Now let's move on to our second project. For this project, I'm using a candle holder and a vase. I'm just cleaning my two pieces and then I'll use my metallic gold spray paint and I'll spray paint on the inside of my vase. Then I'm gonna take a rubber band and place it right around my vase. And you could do just circles, but I'm going to be slanting my rubber band. And I'm also using electrical tape and I'm placing it right against that rubber band. And I'm just trying to keep it straight going all the way around. Then I'll clean the outside of my vase and I'll be spray painting it with my 2X Rust-Oleum spray paint and this is my white spray paint. My rubber band broke. I think that one was not so good so I'm using some alcohol and a Q-tip just to clean up the mess. And I'm just removing my tape. Now 
to attach the two pieces i'm using my aline's um strong adhesive and i'm attaching the two pieces together and you could do this ahead of time attach the two pieces before you spray paint them but i was just winging it just to cover up the seam between those two pieces i'm using this rhinestone chain Okay, and here we are, we're done with this project. That was quick and easy. I hope you like this one. All right, let's move on to our third and final project. I'm going to be showing you how to make these petals. Okay, this was a project I did um, some time ago. I made a chandelier from these petals. So today I'm going to show you how to make a wall decoration. Use a white poster board. Add one layer of Mod Podge, let it dry, then use your gold spray paint and spray paint the poster board. I'm using Apple Barrel paints, um, acrylic gloss paint. I use two different tones of brown and I'm just using a piece of cloth to uh, mix the colors and dab it all over the foam board. And then I allowed it to dry, then added another layer of gold paint lightly. Okay, and this is what I ended up with. Now we're going to be measuring out our poster board and I'll be cutting two by three pieces. I'm marking two inches on the long side and three inches on the short side. And then you're going to be left with one inch. Um, just cut that piece off. You're not going to be needing that. Then just use a straight edge to join all the points and cut them out with your scissors. And as you can see, the paper now looks nice and rigid and the Mod Podge also added some texture. So now we're gonna fold our paper. Just watch as I'm doing this. And I'm using my scissors to cut out a piece of petal. And I'm starting at one corner and ending about two thirds on the other end. So we're going to be folding it this way first, cutting it out and then fold it back the other way to make the petals to make our wall decor. We're also going to be using some skewers and this is a 12 inch skewers. We're going to cut them in half and I'm just using my garden shears to cut them. Now let's fold our petals the opposite way and we're going to place our skewers right in the center. Now this is what we have. I'm using a Dollar Tree mirror and a foam disc and I'm finding the center on that foam disc. Then I'll place my skewers on the center. And I'm just trying to find the half and then I'll find the quarter and every skewer that I place, I'm trying to place it directly in the half of the previous two. And we're done with that layer. Now we're going to be adding the second layer and we're starting from the end in one inch. And this is the back, okay? This is gonna be the back. So we're going right around with that and we're done with that row. Now that's the base of our wall decor. 
and I'm cutting the other skewers. So, so far I used 32 pieces of the six inch skewers. So now I'm cutting down my skewers. I'm cutting off about two inches. So let's say you're going to be using four and a half inches for this row. Okay, and I'm just trying to place the petals about halfway in from the previous one. So the petal is going to be resting over the previous one and I'm placing them directly on top of each other and it's going to be resting halfway. So it should look just like that and try to keep them on one level. Now just go right around with that and this is how that looks. Now for the last row. I'm just leaving about one inch because this will be touching the foam disc directly. Just like so. So we won't have much skewers showing when we're done. Okay, just try to keep them on one level going all the way around. Now we're on the last one. Now we're done. I used some of my gold spray paint just to spray paint the edge of the foam. Um, you can do that ahead of time. And I'm also using some thumbtacks to go right around the rim. Now to hook it on the wall, I'm just going to be using a large nail and I'm placing the nail directly through the foam and just use some glue to hold it down so it won't pull away from the foam. Now I'm attaching my mirror and this is the four and a half inch mirror from the Dollar Tree and I'm just placing it right in the center. And that completes our DIY projects for this week, guys. Let me know which one is your favorite and if you'll be recreating any of these projects. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. Please remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet. If you've missed my previous video, here it is on the screen. Please go ahead and click that rectangular box to watch it. Take care and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye-bye.